We're here about to play a scary game. I think it's scary. It's probably more tense than scary. What is scary? You know, it's like, I feel like anything could call itself scary. Taxes could call themselves scary, but it's like, they're not really scary. They just scare me. Today, we're going to be playing some Iron Bark Lookout. I got to change my gamma until the first F is barely visible. Oh yeah, there is another F there. Wait, are subtitles down here? I probably can't be down here, huh? Hey, I noticed you're requesting story submissions while watching your YouTuber play Fierce to Fathom Carsts. There, that's me. They're talking about me. What up, bro? I'm about to recount what happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling him about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. But I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing this story and everyone else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. Hopefully nothing worse has happened since. Like, imagine he just finished writing this and like some, whatever I'm about to experience happened, but then like they actually died and we'll never know. I'm Jack Nelson, had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout station in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by the forestry service. I feel like this would be cool, but also pretty, pretty terrifying. I had a salary that let me make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. Nice clothes are a scam. Well, sort of, I guess it depends on how bad of clothes you really had. But like, as long as you wash your clothes properly and like treat them properly, they're probably gonna be fine. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. Yeah, I feel like, what are the hours of a fire lookout? This one time I was transferred from one post to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor convenience to me though, since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. <gasps> two hours, that's the play of this game. Wait, I swear to God, is this a whole time? Am I driving the whole time? Fuck! Two hour driving sim, let's go. If I knew that, I would've got my wheel. Oh shit. Oh wait, but I'm also in an RV, so I probably have to like sleep at night. Kayla, what do you want? Did you pass Roseburg yet? Yeah, oh, I thought I just, why are you wondering, Kayla? Tell me, bitch. I lived a very solitary life. Same here. Sometimes I wonder if I, it's worth, uh, it helps keep my mind, wait, it helps quiet my mind, keep the memories at bay. Well, now I feel like, I feel like if I talk about what I was gonna say, it's kind of weird, because it was like in a little different path. Yo, should we fucking rear, or just, I almost said rear end, but you usually have to hit the end of something to do that, so we'll forget about it. But I was thinking about getting a fatal accident with that fucking truck, but I'll pass it up. Kayla sent me three messages, hold, just send one message at a time. All right, I got a question. Whenever, are you guys like a texter? that sends one long like paragraph thought out you're replying to everything they said and like maybe not even an order but like you'll be sure that 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 like you're referencing that before uh, before i'm in roseburg before what was i i saw the diner kayla was talking about huh remember there's a diner oh yeah ah shit i forgot what i was talking about She's always acting like oh yeah, I saw about the great outdoors in the same path, but I feel like that was on a different thing. What did Kayla say? I remember there was a diner pass in the road they have the best burgers in town. You have to. It was a good meal before the staffing starts. Thanks, Kay. Oh, uh, we got a jukebox playing. Oh yeah. Wasn't so, your face is Is it? Oh, okay, you're literally coming to me. Uh welcome to Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Good, how about you? Not too bad. What would I say? I'll probably say this. Feel free to take any seat you like and I'll be right with you. All right, thanks. What I was asking earlier and then completely forgot about and then got mad. Uh, I was asking, what type of text are you? Are you like a long paragraph text or are you someone that like be like, boop, boop, since, 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 like you send every single thought. You know, I'm gonna sit over here a little bit away from the jukebox. I don't want it too loud. Plus I saw you were here. Good evening, I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? I haven't even seen the menu, but I want a burger. Cheeseburger thrive, baby. Our burger is the best in the West. Would you like anything to drink? <sighs> Strawberry slush sounds pretty good. Wait, slush. I was thinking milkshake. But yeah, I don't know. Sometimes, like, I'm a paragraph texter, so whenever I'm getting spammed with the single line thought texters, I'm not calling them thoughts, by the way. I'm just saying, like, every every thought they have, just like, psh, 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 psh. it's like rapid fire. Hello? I'm just like, holy shit, stop. You really had to pee? My bad, yeah, I'll get up. But yeah, because I'm, I'm definitely a, a paragraph texter. Don't jump out and scare me, you bastard. Tinkle time. What the fuck? I'm really just tinkling. Bro, you gotta drink some water. You're staining the toilet. Oh, never mind. That was just a toxic cloud fuming. Okay, my bad. I thought I thought you were just drinking tar. What if I move tables? Is that gonna fuck with her? I'm gonna move tables. Let's see if she could. Let's see if she's so confused. 
I was in the wrong boot. Okay. <clears throat> I bet you I can make it in that bucket. Ooh. Ooh. I can't get up. Oh, now I just feel like a prick. Oh, with a burger and a... Oh, shit. Hello. Can you give me the ketchup? <clears throat> okay. Shit, yeah. She gave me some extra ketchup. Consume. Wait, I don't want to fill up on the Slurpee. I don't want to fill up all of the Slurpee. Don't drink it all at once. It's, that better not be gone. Dude. What in the fuck is wrong with you, man? I feel like I'm in his, in his, like I'm dangling on his uvula. All right, what up, Kayla? So did you end up going? How was it? I'm here, still eating. This is so good. You Would you like to have anything else or should I get the check? I don't have an, I kind of want a burger to go. Why can't they get a burger to go? This is bullshit. Oh, and I actually have to pay? Damn it. You don't even have anything in your hands. Here's the check. Your total is 7.6. 50% tip? I think that's a little bit insane. We'll do a 15%. Although to be fair, uh oh. Hope you enjoy the rest of your ride. Thanks. Wait, how'd you know I was on a ride? No smoking? Ow. Thought this was an old school diner. Type of old school diner doesn't allow smoking. Please leave me alone. Oh, this guy's blind. You look a little lost. Just tired. This place has some great coffee. You're in the mood for one. No, I figured I'd down a giant strawberry. You go for vanilla. Yeah. So where are you headed? All right, have a good one. This music's a lot of shit. Surely I have a ticket. Hey, no one stole my car. That's great. I didn't lock up or anything. The bathroom door is strangely jammed. I mean, I did leave my fucking, my, my door open. Uh, now I can drive away. Now that the suspense of someone being in my, in my muffled bathroom is here. Oh, I just had to hit W before I could drive. Someone's in my bathroom, so that's awesome. I'm looking forward to having that hit me or whatever they do to me. I want to include the location of this park. But I don't want anyone seeking out the utter horrors I've seen. What the fuck? I've seen in these I've seen in these woods. What the fuck was that? It was it, did I hit something I didn't notice? Is this where I'm pulling up? I don't know, I'm gonna keep on driving because I'm reckless. I drove past the trail at first. Oh, I drove my RV onto the foot trail. Oh, why did the, why did this guy do all this? It seems weird, but luckily I'm doing it before he even gets to it in the story. From there we on foot, take the Gold Creek Trail. From there it'll take you a couple of hours until you reach your A couple hours on foot late at night. That is crazy. I think there's a tower right there. I'll just chill on that one. Like, I feel like we really want this job. Billy. Ah! Hey, Billy. Holy moly, you scared me. I thought you were one of them. One of them what? Anyways, can I see your permit, please? Oh, I'm not a camper. I'm the new transfer of the fire lookout. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Hang on, let me check on that. I'll close the doors so none of the, whatever you're afraid of breaks in. Okay, pal, you're good. Just, good. Thanks. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left on staff for the season, but here are your keys. Jesus. Maybe you should speak in different fucking senses. Let me open the trail gate for you. You have a gun, by chance? Since you're not arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the long- Okay. Yeah, a flashlight. Thanks. How about I get a, a temporary flashlight? How about I get one of those those cracking flashlights where you pull on a little trigger and it, it makes a big old loud cracking sound and a big old flash? And it also sends out a projectile to let someone know that, hey, this is where I flashed it at. Now, for our purposes, when you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system just so we know you clocked in safely, Candy Soldier. If you need, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough, guy. Yeah. They'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency. You have a good one. Just got a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. Dangerous woods that way, pal. Ooh, bobcats and bears. Nasty business. I thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked dead serious. Wow, that's crazy. Nothing was even there, and I'm already scared. All right, 1132. It was a long hike. It was starting to get cold now. Tower 11. No! 
I accidentally threw my bag. Tower 11, 117 feet, Lacey Trail. I think I go down the trail, right? Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. Yeah, especially when that's your home, you know? And like, you know, you got to come down here, start your generator, and like, there's just a lot. There's definitely a lot of weirdities and oddities to it. Hey, look, there's my Tower 12 neighbor, probably. But I wonder if I even needed my generator. Oh, wait, yeah, because I got lights. I probably didn't even need this somehow. Also, I don't need this on anymore. I'm Brock Fire Department. All the guests must follow these rules while I walk into the tower. Lights out after 12 p.m. Supply job. Oh, wait. Weather report. Weather report. Weather report. Uh, user Tower 11 password. Password. Okay. I don't know. Ready to come sit on a wooden table? Oh, God. Did they say my password? Wait, 420. Nice. Anything in here? Bitch. I still don't know my password. Is my password in here? Check the Ironbark rules flyer. System password is Ironbark 11. Okay. I was close. Let's go. I'm a hacker, baby. Hello there. It's Smiley, your trusty virtual assistant. I'll be making the most of your computer today. Uh, service reporting. I'll go to the state of the art service report. I'm so you liked her, huh? I gotta say, it's refreshing to see Tower 11 alive again. Who is this? Fire Tower 12. Yo. Isn't that the job? I've had to cover sure. your area. Yeah, I didn't want to ask that because it was obvious, but... Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? Just looking for a change. Oh, he said what? An experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. Uh-huh. I'm you really tired. Going? No. Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. Well, I also have to make a weather report. What is it? Measure weather conditions of private equipment long and log accurate data to be sent to AQ for evaluation. So how do I track the smoke? Did you light it up yet? Wood stove should be around the entrance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks, man. I got it. Oh. Why is it beeping? No firewood. There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. All right. who was in the lookout before you. She okay. was one gritty woman. Mm, Anyways, I'm not a you gritty man. Fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Gasoline. Okay, shut up, bitch. So there's no, is there? Oh. <sighs> okay. Guess I'll go down here and get some uh, freaking firewood going. That way I'm not shivering my little butt talks off. Can't close the door, so nothing else, because there's no door. Got it. <clears throat> my bad. I mean, to be fair, it's not like... Uh, Chances are people aren't going to come around here, Grant. I still don't really want, like, an animal going in there. Make it a mess of everything, I feel like. And now, where's my... That bloop. And then... And then close that bitch up. Ah, I see it. I see the smoke. There, there, there would be barely any smoke so far. I literally just lit it. Nice Shut up. Alive again. You already said that you're on repeat. No. Shut up. No, let me get to it. Here at Iron Bark, you are Is this what I do? Temperature, wind speed. How do I measure it? Welcome to stay there. Number of hikers assisted. Zero. Reported by Jack. How do I check all this? I mean, I guess a lot of it is just looking. Fuck, I have to get the barometer, I just realized. God. But it's not even called a barometer. It's called a poopy. I mean, it's not called poopy, but it's, it's something. That'll probably be useful. That's bear, bear mace. 20 mile an hour wind. Is there a thermometer around here? Just 20 knots. All right. Ow. Oh. Wind speed, 20. Weather condition, Uh, I would say cloudy. How do I tell the temperature? Is there a fucking thermometer out there somewhere? Dude, the, I, there has to be just like a thermometer around here somewhere and I'm just so freaking blind. I'm gonna get fired first. Ah, what if I started a fire? Maybe there's a thermometer over here. Eh? Never mind. Where the, how do I tell the goddamn temperature, dude? I said this Oh wait, there it is. I knew it was around here somewhere, goddammit. I... 48 Fahrenheit. Submit. Something didn't look right. Is it my name Jack? What the hell's my name? What is my name? <laughs> Am I going through a crisis? Jack Nelson. Do I need my full name in there? 
Probably, I guess that would make sense. Jack Nelson. Something didn't look right. Huh? Weather condition cloud? Is it not cloud? Oh, is it because it's windy? Something still doesn't look right? Well, you're getting fucking cringe, bucko. Yeah, this just cloudy, bucko. Do I, should I lie about the numbers of hikers I have assisted? Because I don't remember assisting any. Because I got here late. Did I spell my name wrong? Was I wrong in the temperature or something? I was like halfway between 60 and 40. Like, I'll zoom in. Fat line, 40. Two above it, 42, 44. Two above that, 46, 48. Big fat line, 50. And then it does the same thing up to 60. That's 48. So I know that's good. This shit motherfucking 20 knots, homeboy. So what the hell is wrong? So there's one, I helped one. I helped two, I helped 2,000. Welcome to Ironbark State Park. If you're watching this video, this guy sounds like a fucking dweeb. Keep campers out of unregistered campgrounds. Okay, I'll do the my best. The campers might start a campfire, which could that's a big to match. a wildfire. They will not always listen to authority, uh, so take precaution when escorting them. I'll get my gun. Make sure to know whether the person is a I threat. I call my gun authority. If you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. I just don't know the number. I am so confused. The fuck am I missing, dude? Is that because that's the temperature in here? Obviously, I guess that would make sense. The temperature is at 46.3? Dog, that is not 46. Didn't realize I had to fucking click it to get the actual temperature. Even still, that's the that's, that's that's the inside, isn't it? No, it's definitely fucking cloudy. I'm pretty fucking confident it's cloudy, Jack Nelson. You see clouds, Jack Nelson? Do I need to zoom in on a cloud so he knows? Should I say windy? Is that what they're wanting? I think maybe they're wanting windy. Was sure if you put the right way? Okay, maybe clear. I mean, I guess. Hey, copy, new guy. Um, Tyler, I'm gonna sign off for the day. All right. Twelve, signing off. You have a good night, new guy. You have a good night. You're not gonna run out. Let me see what else. Refill the generator routinely. I'm probably gonna do that real quick. Update the reporting software routinely. Cool. I'm gonna go refuel Ginny. Actually, to be fair, technically no time has passed. I don't think since I got up here. So maybe I'll update the software. That way time actually passes. Wasn't it in here I had to do it? Check update. Check burr. All right, nothing there. Ooh, have I deleted anything? I can't check. Yeah, it's gold lake. So I, I came up, damn, so I came up. Wait, what that lake name? What you mean by that bitch? Call your sister station before you sleep. Yeah, we sort of just talked. He's already asleep now. I don't see the smoke. Did you light it up yet? Huh? Bro, Connor's, Connor's on repeat. I accidentally hacked the system and found out that Connor was on repeat. And I left my lights on all night. <laughs> Unintelligible. Un uh, well, maybe I was just maybe. Let me get up then. Uh huh. I had to pee. Okay. Who's out there? Ow. My first night being at my cabin gave me a strange feeling. Being left alone was somewhat unsettling. Yeah, that should be crazy out here. I feel like you'd have to really be comfortable with yourself. I had my lights auto. Someone turned my lights off for me. That's super nice of them. It's crazy that people like have to wake up to pee. Like I just, whoa, I just, sorry. I just saw those first. Little. Just you in the wind and time melts away. What up, Connor? <laughs> oh wait, right. <laughs> I think I'm gonna wake up by, to being maimed by a bear. I think it'd be fucking sick though. Left mouse button to take a photo. Snap him in here. He's gonna call me on the radio. Like, rawr, rawr, you take a picture or something? It's based to get off. <laughs> what is going on here, dude? That is disgusting, but hot. Let's do it. This is Connor from Tower 12. You copy? Bro, give me like half a second to reach. Tower 11. Do you copy? Copy that. What's up? Bitch. What? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Let me have a look. North of my position, eh? So if I'm sitting somewhere... Yeah, I got him. I need you to confirm. Do you see that 
Shut up, bitch. I'm fucking walking back to you. God damn it. Yeah. Okay, headed north from Port Bay. I won't. I'm gonna die. Nice knowing you, Connor. Fuck ass, little pussy bitch, dude. I hate this guy. I hate him. I knew I was gonna hate him from day one, too. Bum, 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 bum. Down a lacy trail. Down a lacy trail. Poop, poop, poop. I'm um, pooping on lacy trail. Lacy snail's trail. She left a snail trail because she sneezed in caution in area. <gasps> okay, well, there's a lot of caution in this area, and that's good to see. I just wish I knew what that shape was. Follow the trail that leads me to smoke. Why'd you do that? It's dark now. They're probably not even smoking. Eh, they're dying. I couldn't just turn around. I had to check the source of smoke. Did you not just hear what I heard? We're going in dark, bro. Fuck this. I'm not letting nothing know that we're on our way besides our <laughs> fucking ass footsteps. I feel like I'm seeing blood everywhere. Jesus, bitch. Oh, hey, I got my thing. Um, okay, so piece of uncooked pasta. Man. I might have, I know I have some uncooked pasta. I might make that in the tap. Oh, I think that's what I was saying. Excuse me. I have goosebumps. Dot, dot, dot. Show yourself, pussy. Dot, dot, dot. Everybody on that site was closed. Well, they will die. So be it. Really, all we would have to do in a scenario like this is just start cleaning up their shit. And good luck after that, idiots. You know what I mean? Like, it's really just that simple. It just, I don't know. It seems like, it seems like simple mathematics to me. But I did fail math once, so. Dude, this part's closed. I can't go past it. Ah. What am I supposed to do in a situation like this? Well, I know the source of the smoke. Now what? Like, do I... Do I do I have a bucket to put it out with? They grab this and... I'm not getting rid of my bear mace. I'm not foolish. I know that as soon as I drop this bear mace, a dumb bear is going to be running out of those woods and be like, aha, I gotcha. I'm not going to fall for it. I'm not going to be that sucker today. Oh, wait, there's a bucket. Epic. Wait. My hands are full? Fuck you, dumbass little bitch. Oh, my hands are full, but only when I'm holding something in my right hand. Fuck you. Oh, cutscene to fill up water. Fuck you. Smoke it out. You will all now freeze to death. Goodbye. I'll just probably go back now. Maybe. Fuck out of here, bitch. As I hike back to my tower through the dark. I could shake. Should I feel like I heard something really. Whoa. Sorry, I don't know who let that one out. Wow, this character is a sick fuck. That was in the script. He said, next I walked into the porta potty and sniffed it. And I was like, whatever, dude, that seems weird. But Why the fuck do I hear whistling behind my hut? Very creepy, Mr. Wabbit. Keep whistling, get a fucking huff of that shit, pussy. See how long you whistle for. I'm pretty sure they just came over to my, my tower because they knew I couldn't whistle, and now they're just whistling outside of my house to fuck with me. Uh, it's the only thing that makes sense, really. This is also another thing that I feel like would be really cool, but also really kind of creepy, just having, like, windows all around. Like, in the morning? Awesome. At night? Terrifying. Loud and clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot... No. Son of a bitch. Who, me? They never Don't talk about my mom like that. What I'm do you mean? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. This is the third time this month alone. Damn, Anything bro. Anything else you notice in those woods? There's a scream. Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Kids went missing? Ago, they were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and... Well, does that have well, to do with campers? People have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. <gasps> entities. 
I love titties. Well, since I'm here, I might as well track the weather. Take the temperature, 50.9. We'll go ahead and put that in. Kayla, get off my fucking back. I'm working. It was a 50.7 or 50.9. I really don't remember. Number of hikers assisted. I don't know. Weather condition. Not yet. It is a 19 knot night. Summit can't be empty. True. I mean, I don't know if it'd be one because I did go and put out that fire. I don't know if that counts as a, as helping somebody because I didn't really help anyone. I'm not sure if I put in the right weather condition. Okay, I mean, like, I'm just gonna say cloudy because it looks cloudy as shit. Cool. Wait, so can I actually go down like on the road and help hikers and shit? I don't know if I need to go refill the generator. Maybe I'll go get more fire before I have to, before I like have to, you know? Although maybe I already have to. Cause there's small fuck a whistle. Wait, I probably shouldn't take my compass. Cause my hands are full when something's only in my right hand. When it's in my left hand, well, it's not so full all of a sudden. That was a very echoey cartoon for being in a forest. Oh, so you're not whistling anymore, huh? So you're just gonna walk around creepily, huh? Alright, I get you. Bro, if you're if I can hear your whistling out here, you gotta be you got you gotta be like in my ass, dude. Whatever, dude. Pissed off. What did Kayla say? Look at the film makes my stomach grow. Well, let me see it. Oh fuck! Wait, uncooked pasta, marinara sauce, pepperoni. Uncooked pasta. I think it's marinara sauce. Okay, turn wait. At this point, I was starving. I had all the ingredients Kayla's recipe asked for. Let's fucking get cooking, boss man. Now my generator is gonna go out. Tomato sauce. Burr. No thanks. Pepperoni, mozzarella cheese. Pepperoni. Pepperoni. I'll cook pasta, marinara sauce, pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, diced tomatoes. Wait, wouldn't a tomato just be out here and I just dice it up? Or am I dumb? Oh wait, are they right here? Huge. No, fuck. God damn it. Get back in there. Or not. Fuck, can I cl just close? <sighs> okay, whatever. There's all the ingredients in casserole. Ah, uh, of course. As you do. Pizza time. I mean, sort of. Pizza casserole time. Wait, turn my lights off so my generator doesn't go out? Two guys. You there? Yeah. Two guys. Sorry, turn my lights off. Just reported their ass to the authorities. Hope nice. They track them down and get some pieces of mine. Tell you what. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Alright, bro. Peace out. Tough day. Thanks, you. Over 12, signing off. Over and out. Over and out. Let's go, it's done. <laughs> I liked eating in bed. Weird ass. Get a little bit of this going. Do, 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 do. That way we stay warm. Whatever. That way we stay warm. Turn the lights off. That way we can see a fire. And now, we eat. Mm, 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 mm. The only fire I'm seeing is this fucking pizza casserole. Thanks, Kayla. I'm eating this whole casserole made for eight people and myself at one sitting. Surely this won't be bad. I was already full. Okay, at least it's somewhat realistic. I'll turn on the radio to sleep. Temperature's still pretty much the same. I always close the boards outside before heading to bed. Mm. That makes sense. Quick monster check. No monsters, no monsters. All right, we're good. Bedtime. Monsters can't survive in the light, so. I swear, if I have to pee again, no, I probably have to shit because I ate half a fucking lasagna. I was woken by some feeling that caused. That's crazy, because I just got goosebumps. Space to get up? Nah, I'm pretending I'm dead. Oh, so you're just gonna be standing there? Oogie boogie, bitch! Oogie- I'm gonna come fuck your ass! I'm gonna come fuck your ass! What up, you little fucking whore? Huh? Mm. What's up, bitch? Ah! 
Fuck you, I know your face. I'll remember it, I'll remember it, I'll remember it, I'll remember it. I'll re I feel like I didn't have to die there. Did I lose? Because I feel like usually... Oh wait, there's usually multiple endings in this game. I'll be honest, I feel like I got the non-ending ending. But, I'm gonna leave it like that. And if you... Ah, but I've, man, it's just... I, I just feel like I have to restart it. Oh wait, I don't. Hmm. Actually, you know what? I know what I'm gonna do. I know how to kill that guy. It's just gonna be easy. Yeah, 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 get up. I already know what I'm, I'm gonna do. What the f- this gas sucks, bro. That was scarier that time for some reason, even though I knew he was gonna do it. I just didn't realize he was so aggressive with it. Wait, that's Connor, that bastard. I gotta take the fucking weather. I I, I don't know, I don't know how quick the weather- I'm kidding, bitch. <laughs> There's something very strange about that night? Yeah, I'd say so. I forgot my flashlight. Fuck! I'm gonna pretend I'm gonna hide in there. Wait, I kinda just let him into my room, huh? We take that and this. Oh, wait, the bear mace. I forgot about that. All right, well, I'm gonna go back up and just spray this stupid fuck. Come here, bitch, I got bear maze, whore. Wait, where'd he go? I don't know if there's any other endings, uh, but if there is, I don't even want to get them anymore because it pissed me off with that shit. I should have been able to bear mace this motherfucker. I should have been able to light him on fire. I should have been able to rip his robes off and s Regardless, I don't know if there's actually more. I don't know what else I would do besides like maybe actually just run to tower 11 or like run on some trail. But if I can't kill this guy, then I don't want to be Jack Nelson anymore.